kids, this is our second week of EPIC, where we're learning about the EPIC adventures of God's people in the wilderness. But before we start our journey on today's adventure, let's have some times of praise and worship. All right. in chariots and some in horses some trust in chariots and some in horses yeah some trust in chariots and some in horses some trust in chariots and some in horses yeah
today we're going to hear a story about how 12 different spies saw things in different ways. We're going to see how trusting God made a difference in what they saw. So now it's time for our Bible story. Hey everyone! Are you ready to hear an epic story about spies and secret missions? Cool! Me too! It begins at Mount Sinai. You might remember this place from last week. The Israelites, God's chosen people, had been hanging out there for a year. Then the cloud of God's presence moved and led them into the wilderness. The people began to grumble and wish they hadn't followed Moses. Even Moses' brother and sister told him they were unhappy with how things were going. But they were headed to a special land God had promised to them. So that's great news! But about halfway there, God told Moses he should stop in the desert and send 12 spies ahead to investigate. Ten spies came back and said the Israelites should turn around. They said it was dangerous. But two spies, Joshua and Caleb, gave a different report. They said, Yes, there's danger, but we can trust God will take care of us. Moses, their leader, agreed. But the Israelites were afraid. They wanted to turn around. Joshua and Caleb pleaded with the people. They told them that where they were going was flowing with milk and honey. They said that God had prepared something amazing for them. Over and over they told the people, We can trust God. Eventually, the Israelites decided to move forward to the Promised Land. And it wasn't an easy journey. But when they got there, it was worth it. We're right. What God had prepared for them was incredible. Just like the Israelites, even when things look scary or hard, I can trust God too. <laughs> hey guys, are you ready for another epic Bible story? Today's Bible story is in the book of Numbers chapter 13 from verse 2 to chapter 14 verse 9. God's people had come to the edge of the land God had promised them, which was called Canaan, or the Promised Land. Moses picked 12 people, one of each tribe of Israel, to go and spy on the land. What was the land like? What are the people like? How do they live? Bring back some fruit of the land, Moses told them. So the 12 spies went into Canaan to see what the land was like. They gathered up fruit like grapes, pomegranates, and figs, and carried them back to their own people. They stood before Moses and all of the people and gave their report. The land is indeed full of fruit, and the spies reported it flows with milk and honey. That means the land was good and full of all kinds of good things. But, the spies continued, the people are powerful and the cities are strong and large. Caleb and Joshua spoke up. We should go and take over the land. We should do it. But the other spies argued, no, those people are too powerful and we would surely lose. Caleb and Joshua trusted God, and they knew God had promised that they would live in this wonderful land, and they continued to try and convince the people to trust God and go where they had been sent. Most of the spies were afraid to move into the Promised Land because they were afraid of the people there. Have you ever been afraid of something or someone? Sometimes I get worried around people that I think are different from me, and that's okay. Despite my fears and worries, I need to know that, hey everyone, give me a drum roll. This week's big idea is, I can trust God. Repeat it with me. I can trust God. Now only you. One, two, three. Great. Thank you for being here with me today. Now it's time for me to go and trust God and do what's right. And wash my hands with soap for at least 20 seconds. And you should do it too. It's extremely important. Now if you excuse me. Okay. I've got somewhere to be. Now it's time to discover the Bible verse of the month. Let's read it together. 1 Samuel 12, 24. But be sure 
to fear the Lord and serve Him faithfully with all your heart. Very nice! I would love to see a video of you saying this Bible verse. Ask mom and dad to post them in our Blooms app. If you don't have the app yet, here is the information. Remember, you can earn points by doing the coloring page and posting it on our app. We also have cool resources like activities and fun stuff to do. Don't forget, you can always rank up those CDA points so that you can have a chance to win our mystery box. Today, we have our twin friends with us, Catalina and Carlota, and they are going to be sharing an epic story. Hello, boys and girls. I am so happy to see you again. Today, I am with my twin sister, Carlota. Carlota? Carlota! Carlota, come say hello to all my little friends. <coughs> I apologize, friends. My sister is very shy and afraid of everything. No, I'm not afraid of everything. I'm just afraid of cats. Well, I know that. But there are no cats here, just my friends. The last time you invited me to go out with you, you said it was safe and it wasn't. Remember? I injured my left wing. Actually, it still feels a little sore. Do you remember what I told you that day? I said, stay close to me. But when you saw that cat watching you, albeit far away, may I remind you, you panicked, took off, fell down, and injured your left wing. But why don't you tell my friends what you learned that day? No need to ask twice. I learned not to trust you. No. You learned to trust God when you were afraid. Well, yes, I learned that too. Boys and girls, this is what happened. I was perched on a tree branch when I saw the cat. I called out to Carlota, but she started to panic. So I told her, breathe, trust God. Don't be afraid. It will be okay. Yes, I remember. I was shaking with fear, but then I started to breathe. I closed my eyes and prayed to God to help. The cat was right in front of me, looking at me. What was it thinking? Oh! But then, when I opened my eyes, I saw Catalina. Actually, the cat just took off minding his own business. Boys and girls, it's okay sometimes to feel afraid. Fear helps us identify danger. But we cannot be afraid of everything at all time like my sister Carlota used to be. Remember, God can take care of all things you're afraid of. So if God is taking care of the things you're afraid of, you don't have to worry or be afraid. Here is a memory verse for you to remember. Be strong and courageous, for God is with you. That is true and epic. Be strong and... What? What happened? What? You touched me. No, I didn't. Yes, be strong and... What? Catalina, you touched me again and again. Oh... Oh, boy, I bet it is the cat again. Be strong and courageous, for God is with me. Carlota, stop being silly. It's just... Leo, thank goodness you had to see it. A cat with big paws and teeth. A cat, you say? Yes, it was huge, like you, with big paws boss like you and with big uh oh you're a cat a big cat aren't you and i am not afraid of you oh <clears throat> i was just pretending time to go carlota see you next time boys and girls Roar! did you hear that i think i heard a cat meowing 
very lovely. Did you hear it too? Carlota? Be strong and courageous, for God is with me. Thank you, Catalina and Carlota. That was epic. But now, it's time for us to pray. Thank you, God, for being here with us. Thank you for each and every single one of the families that are tuned in. I pray that you give them a special blessing. And I especially thank you, Lord, because I know that we can trust in you. In your holy name we pray, amen. Amen. Guys, thank you for taking the time to be here with us. I hope I see you all next week. Yeah, thanks guys. See you next Bye. week. Bye guys. Have a great time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> guys, I almost forgot to tell you. I can't forget to invite you. Invite you so that you can invite your friends and your cousins and your best friends and everybody you know. You can bring everyone. We're having so much fun. We're having zap meetings. Um, wait, no, they're not zap meetings. They're Zoom meetings, but they are epic. They are on Wednesdays from five to six for preschoolers and then from six to seven for elementary students. It's going to be so much fun. Um, I'll see you there.